Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to see what is depreciation and what are the methods by which you can calculate the depreciation. So let's see first the depreciation. See it is defined as the gradual decrease in the value of a property because of constant wear, tear and decay. What happens? For example, you constructed a building, a property or any structure. What happens with time? It, it may get wear, it may get teared, it may get decayed. So because of this, the value of property decreases. And this gradual decrease in the property because of this wear, tear and decay is called as depreciation. So, how much will be the depreciation? How much you should take the depreciation? Whether you should uh, take a certain, a certain percentage or a certain amount. So, the rate of depreciation will largely depend upon longevity of the utility period or negligence of the maintenance and etc. So, many points are there. So, what, what does that mean? For example, a structure has a lifespan of 50 years. So, in these 50 years, there are chances that your structure will be well and good. It will not require any huge maintenance in first 30 years. But after that, there are chances that your structure will require maintenance. And if you are neglecting this maintenance, there are chances that there will be more wear and tear, more decay of the structure. So, obviously, rate of depreciation will also be more. So, in that case, your rate of depreciation is obviously the more. So, it depends upon how, what? How much is the utility period of that structure? And see, the because of negligence in the maintenance, more will be the depreciation. So, this is the depreciation. Now, let's see what are the methods by which you can calculate the depreciation. See, the first method of calculation of depreciation is the straight line method. So, what happens in this? See, a fixed amount of original cost is lost every year and is deducted from the original cost as long as useful li service lifespan and solvage value will remain unchanged. See what happens. A fixed amount of original cost will be lost every year. For example, the total cost of the building is 10 lakh. So every year, 2000, 5000, whatever it is. So some cost will be lost every year and we know that loss in the cost or original cost is nothing but your depreciation so if same cost is getting reduced or deducted every year because of the this uh, depreciation so if you try to plot the graph it will be a straight line no? because all the points will join the same line for example in the first year uh, the two, you have taken 2000 in the second year also you have taken 2000 of depreciation in third year also uh, 2000 2000 depreciation of the building in fourth year fifth year sixth year and so on so if you are taking 2000 only the line will be straight if you join try to join if you try to plot a graph and if you try to join the line so that's why this method is called as a straight line method and at the end of utility period, only solvage value remains. Now, after uh, all the calculations, means after all the deductions, only your solvage value will remain. Now, we have seen what is solvage value. What is solvage value? It is nothing but the value at the end of utility period without being dismantled. See, what is solvage value? After the end of your utility period, your structure will remain as it is. If you are not dismantling it, so what amount you will get, what value you will get at the end of utility period, at the end of its lifespan, that value is nothing but your solvage value. So that we have seen. Okay. So what this sentence says, at the end of utility period, only solvage value remains. Means after the deductions, what, what will remain? Only your structure will remain without being dismantled so that is your solvage value will remain so the formula for the calculation of annual depreciation by straight line method is original cost minus the solvage value divided by life of life of uh, structure in years 
So in short, it can be written as d is equal to c minus v by n, where d is we know that it is yearly or annual depreciation value, c is the original cost, v is the scrap value or salvage value, and n is the number of years of life of the structure. So this is the first method of calculation of depreciation. Now let's see second method of calculating the depreciation. It is double declining method depreciation method double declining balance depreciation method so what is this method see compared to the other depreciation methods double declining balance depreciation results in larger amount expensed in the earlier years as opposed to the later years as an assets useful life what this sentence says double declining balance method will result in large amount of expenses in the earlier years and in later years, there will be less expenses. That is what this sentence say, says. So, the method reflects the fact that assets are typically more productive in the early years than in their later years. See, what does this say? Other, other methods, what other methods says? You have to take some fixed percentage, say fixed amount or uh, say certain fixed uh, value of the depreciation but in this method what happens okay uh, do one thing let me give you an example for example if you are buying a car and you bought a car at 10 lakh rupees so in first three years the rate of depreciation will be more don't get confused you will say that my car will be new so on that same principle this method is this, this method works how let me tell you for example as i told you you bought a car at a 10 lakh rupees cost so in first three to five years you will get tremendous uh, drop in your uh, sell if you want to sell that car maybe you will get only 6 lakh 7 lakh or 8 lakh 6 lakh suppose but say after five years or after three years the value will be constant you will get you you know that after five years six years the value will be only five lakhs or six lakhs it will remain constant for at least two to three years but in initial stages in the first few years of its use you will reduce or you will get more loss in the value of that car so same principle is behind this double declining balance depreciation method See, this method reflects the fact that assets are typically more productive in their early years than in their later years. Also, practical fact is that any asset, for example, as I told you, think of buying a car, it will lose more value in its first years of use. So, with a double declining balance method, the depreciation factor is 2 times or 2x than that of straight line expense method. In straight line, we have seen it is 1x. means it is a straight line only single time we are, we are taking means 2000 2000 as i told you the example so we will taking same amount but in double declining balance method the depreciation factor is 2 so what is the formula periodical depreciation expense is equal to beginning book value into rate of depreciation so in this way you can calculate the depreciation so these two methods are very important. So, this was the video on what is depreciation and what are the methods of calculation of depreciation. Thank you.